Welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I get hundreds and hundreds of emails and comments every single day. So if you guys want me to review your coins, all you have to do is press the blue join button, become a level two or level three member. You can read it before you actually join. Just press the blue join button on my channel, read through what you get with your membership, and then select level two or level number three, and you guys can send coin pictures, up to 10 different coins a month, pictures of those coins to my email for review, uh, whether I think they're errors or if you should get them graded, things like that. So feel free to do that. If that's not for you, totally understand. But you know, I have to have that membership thing because so many people are emailing me daily and it is a lot to keep up with, but I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. But today is going to be one of my favorite type of videos because I haven't really talked about these coins much at all here on the channel. We're going to be looking at the Flying Eagle Sense. And we're going to look at all three years because they only made them for three years, 1856 to 1858. Now in 1856, they only produced around 2,000 of those coins. So super, super rare. 1857, 17 million. And 1858, 24 million. So let's look at these coins starting off with the 1856. Now this coin here, you can see that it's been damaged. It's been cleaned. You know, it's not in the worst condition, but it's definitely not in the best. It is graded at an extra fine 40. We see a lot of that damage taking place on the reverse of the coin, but the coin still sold for over $4,000. So if you have one of these, they're gonna be super, super rare. Now for the 1856 high grade, this is graded at a mint state 65, meaning that it is in very, very good condition. This coin sold for over $94,000. That's right, 94,000. Now for the 1856 proof, this coin sold for over 44,000 because of its condition and of course because of its rarity. So proof 66, the coin grading scale only goes to 70, super, super valuable coin, $44,000. Now, for the 1857, we got a lot of different stuff to look for because there's different types of errors and things like that. So first, we'll look at the different things that you wanna actually look for. So on the 1857, you wanna look for a repunch date. So we can see examples of that here. You really see it here at the bottom of the eight and the five. And then we'll see that here as well. There's different versions of the repunch date, so just inspect your coins closely if you ever come across you know uh coin collections and you purchase coin collections from people and you know maybe a flying eagle scent happens to be in one of them who knows you always want to look out for these different types of things because you don't want to just sell it as is if it has an error that could give it even more value now also uh there's different things uh this one is a clashed quarter so it's pretty cool it's a muled die clashing between a flying eagle scent reverse and the die of a seated liberty quarter reverse so that is really cool so you can actually see the outlines there going through you see the lines there that is the die clash taking place on the coin so really really interesting uh always look out for that now let's look at a double die obverse. This one is very, very noticeable here. Look for doubling there on the eagle, of course. We can see it there on the eye, the beak. So the body as well. You can also see that on the lettering of the coin. So always be on the lookout for that on the flying eagle sense, man. Some really extreme doubling there on the lettering of the coin. America, man, that is really, really doubled there. Check that out. Could you imagine, you know, buying a coin collection from somebody and, you know, seeing this type of doubling, which is really, really crazy. And then here's a couple more examples of that as well. We see it there on uh, the lettering and the beak there. So like I said, look out for that. Now here is that 1857 die clash. You can see that it's only graded at about good. So it's, um, you know, it's not really in the best condition, but it does have a die clash. So that gives it a little bit of value. This coin sold for over $150. And of course, like I said, they produced a little over 17 million of these coins for this year, 1857. Now for the 1857 high grade, graded at a mint state 66, this coin sold for over $25,000, 25,000. Now for the lower graded version of that coin, this coin only sold for around $25. It's only graded at a good four, so very low on the coin grading scale. Um, so you go from $25,000 to $25, huge difference. 
Now here is an off-center error coin, mint error coin on the 1857 one cent coin. Now it's been struck 10% off center and you can clearly see that in the image displayed there on the side of the coin, you know, that off center. It's pretty, you know, self-explanatory there. So this coin here sold for around $500. Now also in 1857, I hope I didn't say 1957. Sometimes I do that uh, in my videos, I mess up. But this coin is a very high graded proof coin and it's sold for over $46,000. So um, imagine, you know, not many of you guys got this coin laying around. So we'll go on to the next one. This is the repunched date. So it's the 1857 with the RPD, the repunched date. As we zoom in there, you can see that there. And this coin sold for over $18,000, 18,000. Now let's move on to the 1858 because there's a lot of stuff to really look for on these as well. Now first up, there's gonna be small letters versus large letters. Uh, so you can screenshot this image if you do have these coins to distinguish you know, which ones you may have, a, a small letter or a large letter. You can see that the A and the M of America here is nearly touching uh, with the large letters and more separated here with the small letters. And you can really see the, you know, the difference of the A, the size of the A and the placement. So. Uh, that's the difference uh, for those. And then also you wanna look for an 1858, uh, again, repunch date where we have like a one over a one. So you can see the one very faintly, the lines from it here towards the left. And then let's look at this other image here of the 1858. This is the 1858 over the 1857 where the eight is over the seven. So it's not very visible, um, but you can see it right there above the second eight, that seven there. Now, if you really wanna see it more up close, here's an image of that. And then also we wanna look for doubling on the front of the coin. So a double die obverse again, not just on the 1857, but also on the 1858. Again, the lettering, the eagle, always look for that double die obverse. Now, speaking of double die obverse, here is that coin. Now it's graded at about uncirculated 58, and this coin sold for around $275. But the high graded version of that coin sold for over $5,000. So a Mint State 65 grade here, $5,000. And look at that double die obverse, that is just incredible. We see it on the date, uh, the lettering of the coin, the beak, the eagle. So that is a really awesome coin. Now this is the uh, 1858 over the seven. So uh, this coin here sold for over $24,000 as it has a Mint State 64 grade. And then here's an example of the 1858 large letters. It's just got the high grade and this coin sold for over $40,000. Now the lower graded version of that coin, the large letters graded at a fine 12. This coin only sold for around 30 bucks. So big difference in prices, 30 bucks, 40,000. Same thing with the 1858 small letters. This coin is graded at a fine 12. It only sold for around 30 bucks, but the high graded version of that coin with the small letters sold for over $39,000. So again, the grade always has a tremendous effect on the coin's value. You know, some coins are gonna be worth money, uh, even, you know, in bad condition, because they're gonna be super rare, they didn't make a lot of them, and then there's gonna be different errors that gives your coins more value, and things like that. So uh, keep that in mind, and of course, the condition always matters as well. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle, check out the videos to the left of me, and until tomorrow, I'll see you on the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.